Okay, quick tip here on how to use folder share to get your application up to the uh, My Citrix lab environment. So if uh, you're familiar with the uh, My Citrix lab environment, uh, you know that uh, you can easily uh, test your applications in this environment, uh, although sometimes getting your applications up to the environment uh, can cause uh, some, some grief if, uh, if you've got firewall issues and FTPing and so forth. So uh, one of the tools that uh, I've found to work uh, fairly simply is uh, Folder Share. It's a free tool from Microsoft, uh, and we'll go through a uh, simple process here to look at uh, how that can be done. So, I'm opening up uh, one of the images. So, uh, again, as you know, uh, here we've got a 32 bit uh, CPS farm. Uh, and what we want to do is get an application from my local uh, PC up to uh, this image, uh, up to this environment. Uh, right now, the image uh, does not have uh, anything on it. Uh, it's uh, brand new for this environment. Okay, so what you would do here is Go to foldershare.com uh, because this presumes that you already have a foldershare account. Uh, you can use your live credentials or Hotmail or uh, actually any credentials uh, to, to get a foldershare account. Uh, presumably you'll have it installed on your local machine already, uh, but you'll need to install it on the uh, Citrix lab environment which is not a hard thing to do. Okay, finish that. And yes, uh, I already use folder share. Enter credentials. So you can see here's the folder share icon. So let's see, I made uh, my phone folder available. Okay, so let's go back and log in. And here's the uh, available machines and libraries. Uh, so we had made Adobe available. Uh, let's see if we want to sync with a new computer. Um, Vista 3, that's online right now. So we want to sync that to the local disk here. And we'll 
call this Adobe uh, 2. Automatic synchronization. Finish. So we've added a library and we should see some of these files starting to uh, synchronize in a bit. You can see that's live now. Uh, we're online uh, behind the net. And we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we came back and looked, and uh, we've got all 337 files uh, synchronized. This did take a while, uh, so uh, you definitely have to uh, consider how many files and how big they are uh, when you go through this process, uh, but it did work. Uh, so let's take a look and find those files. Uh, All right, so here's the new folder, Adobe 2, that we made, and Reader 8, and there's the big list of files, and Adobe Reader, and that's how we can get a application from your local machine up to the MyCitrix lab environment uh, without FTP uh, and without having to uh, worry about uh, whether that site, that, whether that application is exposed uh, on the web or not. So uh, hope this helps uh, provide another option for getting applications up to the, uh, the lab site.